Who are the Nenets? And why do their genes hold such surprising secrets? The Nenets are a group of nomadic reindeer herders living in the frozen Arctic regions of Siberia, particularly the Yamal Peninsula. For centuries, they have survived one of the harshest climates on Earth, migrating hundreds of miles each year with their reindeer herds. Their way of life is incredibly tough, enduring temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, relying on reindeer for food, clothing, and shelter, and maintaining traditions that have barely changed for generations. Scientists have long been fascinated by the Nenets, not just because of their resilience, but because their origins have remained unclear. Where did they come from? How did they adapt so well to the extreme cold? For years, researchers assumed they were closely related to other Siberian indigenous groups, like the Kanti or the Evenki. But a shocking new genetic study has turned those assumptions upside down. Recent DNA analysis reveals that the Nenets have a far more complex ancestry than anyone expected. Instead of simply descending from nearby tribes, their genes tell a story of ancient migrations, lost populations, and rare genetic adaptations that helped them conquer the Arctic. Some of their DNA comes from a mysterious ghost population, an ancient group that left no clear traces in other modern humans. Other parts of their genome show rapid evolution, giving them unique abilities to withstand freezing temperatures and digest high-fat diets. These discoveries don't just rewrite the history of the Nenets, they challenge what we know about how humans spread across the world, especially into the most extreme environments. How did this isolated group end up with such unexpected ancestry? And what does it mean for our understanding of human survival? Let's dive into the science behind these astonishing findings. The Nenets are an indigenous people who have called the vast, frozen expanses of northern Siberia their home for centuries. Primarily inhabiting the Yamal Peninsula and the surrounding Arctic tundra, they are one of the last truly nomadic cultures on Earth, with a way of life that revolves around reindeer herding. Every year, the Nenets embark on incredible seasonal migrations, traveling up to 1,200 kilometers, 750 miles, across the treeless tundra with their massive reindeer herds. These migrations are among the longest of any human group, taking them from summer pastures in the north to sheltered winter grounds in the south. Reindeer are the foundation of Nenet survival. They provide meat for food, hides for clothing and tents, called chums, and bones and antlers for tools. Even their transportation depends on reindeer. Sleds pulled by these hardy animals are the main way to travel across the snowy landscape. The Nenets have an intimate relationship with their herds, knowing each animal individually and relying on them for nearly every aspect of daily life. But living in the Arctic is no easy feat. Temperatures can plunge to minus 50 degrees Celsius minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit in winter, and blizzards can strike without warning. The Nenets have adapted remarkably to these extreme conditions, wearing thick reindeer fur clothing that is both lightweight and incredibly warm. Their traditional diet, rich in raw reindeer meat and fish, provides the high-fat energy needed to endure the cold. Culturally, the Nenets have a deep spiritual connection to nature, believing that every element of a land, rivers, winds, and animals, has its own spirit. Shamans once played a key role in their society, communicating with the spirit world to ensure good hunting and health. While Soviet policies in the 20th century disrupted some traditions, Many Nenets still practice their ancestral customs, passing down stories, songs, and survival skills through generations. Despite their resilience, the Nenets face modern challenges. Climate change is altering their migration routes, and industrial expansion, such as oil and gas drilling, threatens their grazing lands. Yet, they continue to persevere, maintaining a way of life that has defied the Arctic's brutality for centuries. Their incredible adaptation to one of Earth's toughest environments makes them a fascinating subject, not just for anthropologists, but now, as genetic research reveals, for scientists uncovering the hidden story of human migration and survival. For decades, anthropologists assumed the Nenets were closely related to other Siberian indigenous groups. But recent advances in DNA technology have revealed a much more complex story. 
an international team of geneticists from institutions like the Max Planck Institute and the Russian Academy of Sciences conducted a comprehensive study analyzing the genomes of modern Nenets individuals and comparing them with both ancient and contemporary Eurasian populations. Using cutting-edge sequencing techniques, researchers examined hundreds of thousands of genetic markers across the Nenets DNA. What they found was astonishing. Rather than showing simple connections to neighboring Uralic or Siberian groups, the Nenets' genetic makeup contained traces of an ancient ghost population, a previously unknown group that doesn't match any existing genetic records. This mysterious ancestral component suggests that the Nenets' origins involve a lost branch of early humans who once roamed northern Eurasia. The study also identified remarkable genetic adaptations that help explain the Nenet survival in extreme Arctic conditions. Key mutations were found in genes related to fat metabolism, allowing them to efficiently process their high meat, high fat diet. Other genetic variants appear to enhance cold tolerance, regulating blood circulation and heat retention in freezing temperatures. Perhaps most surprising was the discovery that the Nenets' ancestors likely split from other Siberian populations much earlier than previously believed, possibly during the Late Ice Age. This challenges traditional migration theories and suggests northern Eurasia was home to complex, now-vanished human groups whose legacy survives only in isolated populations like the Nenets. These findings don't just rewrite the history of Siberian peoples. They open new questions about how humans adapted to extreme environments and what other genetic secrets might be hidden in remote indigenous communities worldwide. The genetic study of the Nenets yielded discoveries that stunned scientists and overturned long-held assumptions about Siberian populations. The most startling revelation was the presence of DNA from an unknown ancestral group, a ghost population that doesn't match any previously identified ancient or modern humans. This mysterious genetic component makes up a significant portion of the Nenets' ancestry, suggesting they descended from an isolated branch of early Eurasians that disappeared from the historical record thousands of years ago. Equally surprising was how genetically distinct the Nenets are from their closest neighbors. While they share some ancestry with other Uralic-speaking groups, nearly 30% of their DNA comes from this enigmatic source, far more than in any surrounding population. This indicates the Nenets remain genetically isolated for millennia, preserving unique ancestral traits lost elsewhere. Researchers speculate this ghost population may have been among the first humans to adapt to Arctic conditions, passing survival advantages to Nenets' ancestors. The study also uncovered extraordinary genetic adaptations that explain the Nenet's ability to thrive in extreme cold. Specific mutations were found in genes regulating fat metabolism, allowing efficient processing of their high-fat reindeer meat diet, cold tolerance, enhancing blood circulation and heat retention in extremities, vitamin D synthesis, compensating for limited sunlight exposure. Perhaps most intriguing was the discovery that these adaptations developed remarkably quickly in evolutionary terms, likely within just a few thousand years of their ancestors entering the Arctic. This rapid genetic change suggests extreme environmental pressures forced unusually fast natural selection. These findings fundamentally alter our understanding of human migration into the Arctic. Rather than being late arrivals who adapted existing survival strategies, the Nenets appear to carry genetic legacies from some of the northernmost pioneers of our species, a lost chapter in human history written in their DNA. The genetic study of the Nenets has revealed unexpected links to ancient populations that are reshaping our understanding of Eurasian migration patterns. While scientists initially expected to find close ties to other Siberian groups, the DNA evidence paints a far more complex picture of isolation, ancient mixing, and remarkable preservation of unique genetic heritage. One of the most significant discoveries was the Nenets' connection to the ancient North Eurasians, ANE, a prehistoric population that once roamed Siberia during the last Ice Age. The ANE lineage, best known from the 24,000-year-old Maltaboy skeleton found near Lake Baikal, 
was previously thought to have largely disappeared after mixing with incoming East Asian and European populations. However, the Nenets retain an unusually high proportion of Aeni ancestry, nearly twice as much as most modern Europeans or Asians. This suggests their ancestors remained genetically isolated in the Arctic for millennia, acting as living repositories of this ancient genetic legacy. Even more intriguing is the Nenets' relationship to Native Americans. Because the Aeni contributed significantly to the first peoples who crossed the Bering Land Bridge, the Nenets share certain genetic markers with indigenous populations of the Americas. This makes them distant cousins of Native Americans, preserving a genetic snapshot of the population that likely gave rise to both groups before they diverged over 15,000 years ago. The study also found evidence of later interactions with Neolithic hunter-gatherers from Europe, indicating that some of the Nenets' ancestors migrated northward after the Ice Age rather than originating entirely in Siberia. This challenges the traditional view that the Nenets are purely descendants of Uralic-speaking groups who expanded northward from the Altai region. Instead, their genetic profile suggests a complex web of migrations with different ancestral groups converging in the Arctic at various times. Perhaps most puzzling is the complete absence of certain genetic markers that are common in nearly all other Eurasian populations. The Nenets lack specific DNA sequences related to agricultural adaptations found in European and Asian groups, reinforcing their long history of isolation from farming societies. This genetic purity makes them invaluable for studying prehistoric human populations before the widespread adoption of agriculture. These ancestral connections position the Nenets as living time capsules of human genetic diversity. Their DNA not only reveals secrets about ancient migrations across Eurasia, but also provides clues about how humans adapted to extreme environments. As climate change and modernization threaten their traditional way of life, Preserving Nenets' genetic heritage becomes increasingly urgent, not just for their community, but for our collective understanding of human history. The Nenets' genetic story is forcing scientists to reconsider long-standing theories about how humans populated the Arctic and Siberia. Traditional models suggested that modern Nenets descended from Uralic-speaking groups who migrated northward from Central Asia around 2,000 to 3,000 years ago. However, their DNA tells a radically different story, one that pushes their origins back much further and reveals unexpected connections to ancient populations. The study shows that the Nenets' ancestors were already genetically distinct by the end of the last Ice Age, separating from other Eurasian groups over 10,000 years ago. This challenges the idea that Arctic Siberia was populated only recently in human history. Instead, it suggests that multiple waves of migration occurred, with some groups like the Nenets' ancestors becoming isolated in the far north while others moved south or east. One major revision involves the Uralic expansion theory, which proposed that all northern Eurasian populations spread from a single source in the Altai region. The Nenets' unique genetic profile with its mix of ancient North Eurasian, European hunter-gatherer, and ghost population DNA indicates a more complex process. Rather than a straightforward migration, their ancestry points to centuries of mixing, isolation, and local adaptation in the Arctic. Additionally, the study raises questions about how humans adapted to extreme cold. Previously, scientists assumed Arctic survival strategies were culturally learned. But the Nenets' rapid genetic adaptations, such as cold tolerance and fat metabolism, suggest that biology played a crucial role in enabling their ancestors to thrive where others could not. These findings don't just change the story of the Nenets. They rewrite the broader narrative of human expansion into the world's harshest environments. As more genetic data emerges, the history of the Arctic may prove even more surprising than we ever imagined. The revelations about the Nenets' genetic origins carry profound implications that extend far beyond academic circles. For the Nenets themselves, these findings provide a powerful connection to a hidden past, one that validates their deep-rooted presence in the Arctic while raising complex questions about identity in the modern world. Some community members have expressed pride in their unique biological heritage, 
seeing it as scientific confirmation of their ancestors' extraordinary resilience. However, others caution against reducing their rich cultural identity to genetic markers alone, emphasizing that Nenet's traditions have been shaped by millennia of lived experience, not just DNA. From a scientific perspective, the study challenges fundamental assumptions in multiple disciplines. Geneticists must now reconsider models of Eurasian migration, while anthropologists are re-examining how cultural and biological adaptations interacted in extreme environments. The discovery of rapid Arctic-specific genetic changes offers medical researchers new insights into human physiology, particularly how genes regulate metabolism and cold tolerance. These findings could have practical applications, from improving treatments for metabolic disorders to developing new approaches for surviving in harsh climates. The research also highlights the urgent need to document indigenous genetic diversity before globalization and climate change erase more ancestral lineages. As one of the last populations preserving this unique genetic heritage, the Nenets represent a living bridge to humanity's past, one that may hold keys to understanding our species' remarkable adaptability. Their story serves as both a scientific revelation and a reminder of how much we still have to learn from indigenous communities who have thrived in Earth's most challenging environments for generations. The groundbreaking genetic study of the Nenets has peeled back layers of human history, revealing an ancestry far more complex and ancient than scientists ever anticipated. Their DNA tells a story of Ice Age survival, mysterious ghost populations, and rapid biological adaptation, one that forces us to rethink how humans conquered the Arctic. Yet rather than providing final answers, these discoveries have opened new questions that challenge our understanding of migration, evolution, and cultural resilience. While we now know the Nenets carry genetic legacies from some of the northernmost pioneers of our species, many mysteries remain. Who exactly was this enigmatic ancestral group that contributed so significantly to their DNA? How did their ancestors interact with other ancient populations across Eurasia? And what other survival secrets are encoded in the genes of indigenous Arctic peoples? For science, the Nenets represent a living archive of human adaptation, one that grows more precious as modernization and climate change transform their traditional way of life. Their story reminds us that indigenous communities hold irreplaceable knowledge, both cultural and biological, about humanity's capacity to endure in Earth's harshest environments. As genetic research continues, the Nenets' DNA may yet reveal more surprises about our shared past. One thing is certain. Their remarkable genetic heritage proves that the history of human migration is far richer and far more unexpected than we ever imagined. The puzzle isn't fully solved, but each new piece brings us closer to understanding the incredible journey of our species. What other secrets might be hidden in the DNA of the world's most isolated populations? The search for answers continues, and the Nenet story is just one chapter in humanity's grand genetic saga.